Sand mining is the largest extractive industry on the planet. With a yearly consumption of 50 billion tons, its destruction is comparable to climate change. Deadly sand mafia steal freely available sand in broad daylight, making illegal sand mining an invisible crime. The Awaz Foundation has been fighting to make sand mining a globally recognizable issue, but getting people to notice it was a challenge. Our idea, make an everyday sight the face of the crime, the trucks that carry the sand. Save Our Sand mobilized citizens to question these trucks. We started with a guerrilla stunt where an undercover actor proposed to sell sand to unsuspecting beachgoers. Tempo is standing, tell me how to make money. This is a red sand, take it here and take it here. This is a job of Delhi, where you tell me how to deliver. Is it your sand? It is like country sand, it's ours only. No, but if it's the country sand, then it's everybody's sand. How can you sell it? Truck cutouts across beaches gave people a symbolic action to take a stand. As an NGO, we had no budget for TV, print or outdoors. So we turned to the most unexplored medium freely available to us, the sand itself. And for the first time ever, gave the beaches a voice of their own. We distributed the Save Our Sand flip-flops amongst barefoot hawkers. With every step, they left a strong impression on sand, as well as the minds of the beachgoers. As online conversations peaked, a leading shopping website volunteered to make the Save Our Sand flip-flops available to the world. National and international media stepped forward to echo our message. And all this got us our strongest supporter in the fight against sand mining the United Nations. The UN recognized sand mining as a major sustainability challenge of the century, and Awaz was invited to help draft the world's first environmental policy on sand mining, bringing the world's attention to an invisible crime and making it impossible to ignore.